Okay, this is my favorite newspaper. It comes out 24 times a year for $40 a year subscription. It's mailed to you every two weeks. It covers anything automotive from the beginning of time. Um, profiling people's cars, uh, letters, advertisements. In the quiz section, uh, crossword puzzle on it. Uh, uh, a lot of Canadian content. All the uh, cars that were built in Canada, as well as the U.S. and uh, around the world. Uh, short stories about people growing up um, in certain towns and um, well-known towns and places they worked, and name of characters and events that happened to them. Uh, there's a section on uh, Italian-made cars, certain models from 1958. And we get into a um, uh, portrait of a guy that went to take a picture of somebody's car and noticed a couple of others in, his, in a neighbor's yard. And there's a, a crafty guy that turned an old Singer sewing machine into a, uh, looks like an old tractor. Originally, there was a singer sewing machine. Put some wheels on it and put it as a yard decoration. And uh, the, um, this uh, fence around his house was uh, from a, a jail. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And uh, it goes on to um, goes into book reviews. Um, uh, there's one Detroit Auto Show from 1910. A few little highlights. What was for sale at the time? Crossword puzzles. Canadian uh, car history. Didn't quite get them all. <laughs> Just a few. Stories about people's first cars. Along with pictures. Take the car and how long it lasted and where when it fell apart. Uh, again, we've got uh, another Canadian-made cars and people talking about tires and steering. Insurance companies advertising. Some Bears, George Bears. I usually has an article in here. He's from California. And we get into... Uh, uh, looks like probably a place out in western Canada. Uh, different advertisements, things that are just laying around for sale. Yosemite Sam. Yeah, Yosemite Sam. Yeah. Pinstriper. <laughs> uh, a few more highlights of other people's cars. Today in history, what happened February 1st, for instance, throughout uh, every year. If there were any particular highlight of that day related to a car. And uh, that continues on, and then we get into uh, the old tractor sections. There's a story on vintage tractors in every issue, different make and model, and cars and things being converted to tractors. Wow, and UC Davis has an antique tractor collection. Well, they do. Photos, yeah. Wow. And uh, we get into exotic cars and you know, Lamborghini. Ooh, give me an exotic. <laughs> And a uh, bit of a uh, local racing Pinecrest Speedway that was in, in uh, <laughs> Pond Hill, roughly, uh, throughout the years, or Maple. A um, uh, little history every every week of what what happened on particular nights, Saturday nights. And Craig Piercy's father was a ticket man on Saturday nights. Very cool. 1967, 68, 69. And, Used to take Craig and I to the speedway. And we'd get in and free. <laughs> wow. And uh, out and about. Out and about. Uh, we, uh, probably somebody's collection somewhere. Somebody travel around, runs into a car shop, takes a few pictures, ah, and meets some people. Historic Route 66. Yeah. You know, there's one in Calgary, uh, Albuquerque. Yeah. 
You've been there. Yeah. Standing um, on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to Winslow, but I haven't stood on the corner yet. Mm -hmm. uh, features other people's trucks. And, um, another somebody has tripped down the Pacific Coast Highway. Ooh. And, uh, um, everybody out in the boat doing their, their car thing. What a paper. This is great. Yeah. There's a guy who uh, writes an article every week about certain cars he sees on the streets of Montreal, and he doesn't have a driver's license, but he loves old cars, so oh, wow. he's up and he'll take a picture of it and then research it and do an article on it. Oh, that's special. And, uh, My brother's there's car. The answers. Yeah. There's the answers to the uh, crossroad puzzle. 1959 MGA. Yeah. And uh, we get into drag racing certain events across the country. Every week there's a different section, different one to go over. And uh, I saw SoCal back there. Yep, they're usually advertising in here. Um, there's a nice... Uh, triumphs, you guys used to have triumphs, boy. Yeah. 1946 so, Triumph. 1946. 1800 Roadster. Yep, and we'll get into... Uh, Oh, other cars people have restored and different advertisements for old parts. And come into categories of events happening around the, the province, different times. So you can book ahead with whatever you're, you may want to visit. And then used cars for sale. For the parts, sections, services. few pages, somebody's car collection, or their, what their garage Dave looks Pollen like inside. Converted his chicken farm storage building to a collector's garage mahal. Oh, wow. Yeah. In B.C. A few more car services. And finally, somebody's light truck. Featured wow. every week. Different one. This is uh, week number 329 in our series. The newspaper has been going for since 1987. So how do you subscribe? Is this it here? So people... Uh, yep, subscription numbers. Um, so hey guys, let's yeah. let's subscribe to this. Old Autos, P.O. Box 250, Bothwell, Ontario, N.O.P. 1C.O. Okay, so um, they must have a website, hey? Yeah, they do. It's, um, you might find it closer to the front. We'll give you the website. Um, there it is. It's an email address. Okay, here's an email. Classifieds at oldautos, O-L-D-A-U-T-O-S, dot C-A, for Canada, right? Yeah. Not California, guys. And a little trivia Voila. section on the back. Ten questions. Sometimes the guy gets it wrong. <laughs> yeah, very rare, but uh, it's been known to happen where people write in, like myself, and say, hey, that's not correct. Your hey, answer's wrong. Yeah. that's very cool. Yeah, and this comes every two, every second Monday. Hey, thanks for sharing that, Mark. Super.